So hello again, it's been a while. We've been busy with our bee work, trying to keep up. Uh, videos got neglected because of that. There's always been a lot to do. Uh, so story time, what happened last winter is most of our colonies died. We know what caused it, so that's good. Um, the, the winter bees that were raised were malnourished. We didn't get feed on them early enough in the winter, or late fall that is. Uh, so the bees that were raised for winter were malnourished, couldn't survive the winter. Most of them died a month or two into winter. It's a, <laughs> it sucks, it's a lot of work wasted, uh, but it is what it is, we're trying to bounce back. We do have a few colonies that survived, so most of our genetics are intact and we can start over. So as far as starting over goes, what we did is we bought 50 nukes from Fisher's Bee Farm up in McVeigh Town, PA. Uh, we bought little five frame nukes. They're mostly two or three frames of brood, frame of food and a blank. Uh, we took those, we got those on May 6, I think it was, first week of May. I put them in our boxes, 10 frame deeps that same weekend. As we were moving them from our five frame nukes into our 10 frame deeps, we were pulling out all the frames that didn't have cap brood on them, getting rid of those. Uh, he manages on foundation, of course, and we do not like foundation. So we were trying to get as much of that out as we could. Um, so most of these, we brought over three frames of, hang on a second. Uh, she's been sternly talked to. So yeah, when we were moving those over, most of them we brought two or three frames of cap brood over and that's it. Uh, in the box that we had set up, the 10 frame deep, we had entirely drawn frames. We didn't give them any blanks. We put in as much drawn comb as we could because we wanted these bees, needed these bees to grow as fast as possible. So we're taking these two or three frames of cap brood, interspersed it with our eight or seven frames of drawn comb, put a pollen patty on it, sealed it up for the week. Came back the next week, inspected them. Most of them were growing into those foundationless frames, those drawn frames very, very nicely. Cap brood was emerging. We were having a great time, but most of them were very tight. They were in between the frames, the foundation frames that we took over from his colonies, uh, and they were a tight box inside of our 10 frame deep. So the second week we came back through and we checkerboarded those out across the entire deep very heavily. We spread them out as much as we could, trying to manage them so that they have a lot of space to grow into and won't swarm on us. And that worked great. Come back the next week, they were all expanding nicely. They're filling eight or ten frames of bees at this point. Uh, so we put down excluders and stacked on supers. That's where we're at today. Um, and over the next week, which now we're in, first week we picked them up, second week we put them into, uh, we checkerboarded them, third week we put on supers, and that was, well, last week. Anyway, where we're at now is our honey flow is pretty much 70% done, 80% done maybe. Over the last week our black locusts have emerged, and emerged, our black locusts have bloomed, and we got a lot of our honey flow off of that. That's the biggest producer we have. And we're actually starting to see honey pushed up into our supers. So against all odds and against all common knowledge and training, uh, these bees, these nukes that we've purchased this year are growing up extremely well and are actually going to put a honey crop on us, on for us, at least most of them will, uh, hopefully enough to pay for our, our investment here. So we just wanted to show you what one of those strong ones looked like. We have one picked out over here that has a pretty good, it's a pretty good representation of our strongest colonies and we'll show you what that looks like how that two or three frames of brood three three and a half weeks ago has progressed and continued with our management this year like I was saying this colony is representative of our stronger colonies the ones that are doing what we were hope what we hope they were going to do uh, so we're going to take a look at one of these together uh, it has a deep and then a queen excluder and two mediums here I do have some bees showing up at the top entrance here. Well, not the top entrance, but the hole in the inner cover. I'll pop this off. Got some interest in this top super. Looking down over it, they're covering uh, this one frame. We were able to put supers that had drawn comb in them from our harvest last year. Uh, so they, did, they didn't have to draw these out entirely as well. And there you can see, if I can get it to glisten in the camera, that frame is mostly full, front and back. 
and they're starting to draw the frames next door. So that's in the second super. Not an awful lot of interest there. A few bees. We'll go down a super. And here we see quite a bit more activity. See all the white comb here, freshly drawn. Uh, this would have been given to them and this was given to them as a drawn frame. So they've done quite well. A week ago, there was no, there was a few bees walking on these frames and that was it. So in the last week, all of this has happened. Our honey flow around here is extremely concentrated towards the last couple weeks of May. Pretty much entirely black locust. You can see this honey is exceptionally clear. It's kind of got a vanilla taste to it. It's very, very good. Uh, so what I might do here, actually they're doing very well. Sometimes what you do is take this outside frame and push it into the middle, but they're actually drawing these outside frames very well, so there's no need to encourage them to draw them better. They probably were already them in. They probably were already the drawn frames. They may have been drawn frames already on the outside. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. This would have been five frames of drawn comb we gave them. So, yeah, they're putting up quite a bit of honey for a nuke. This was a five frame nukes three, three weeks and one day ago. Right, so we'll go down to our queen excluder. The heavy box. This is also our first year using queen excluders heavily, so we're really taking a gamble <laughs> on that we actually knew what we were doing, but it seems to be working out. We're managing these in singles for now. Um, once the honey flow is over, probably next Saturday, we'll come through, take the excluders off, put a second deep on of mostly drawn comb again, maybe half drawn, and then checkerboard the two deeps in between. Let them grow out into those two deeps over June, and then come back late June, early July, and do our split. But we're trying to get our honey while we can, so we're managing them in singles so that they have to put everything up, uh, and then we're going to deal with our splits later. So now, I could go through this frame by frame. Uh, you can see here, I'll just draw some attention. This, fra this colony, we brought four of his frames over. One, two, three, four. These are not our frames. And then one, two, three, four, five, six of our own. So we were able to move all of their frames to the outside edge. We actually see the queens abandon the foundation in favor of foundationless. We have these two side by side, and she's not pushed for space. She will lay in the foundationless every time before she goes back and lays in the foundation. Uh, so that's what we saw here as we were managing it. So we actually pushed these foundation frames towards the edge. That way these are going to become feed frames more likely, and the core of her brood nest here can stay uh, foundationless frames mostly. Obviously weren't able to do that entirely, probably because this one had a lot of cap root on it. Anyway, this is a healthy box of bees. I could go through frame by frame. I'm not going to. We don't have time for that. We have over 50 of these things to go through. Uh, so we're just going to peek in the back here and look for swarm cells from the bottom. We'll do our best to show this. It's very hard in the dark box to get a good shot. Uh, but we'll give them a little smoke. Crack this bottom box off, slide it back a little on the bottom board, and then we can tip it like this. They're a big colony, they're going to be a little fussy, they don't like this. But we can just gently puff some smoke in there, the run off the bottoms of the frames, and we can see pretty clearly if there's going to be any swarm cells. And I am not seeing any. This is a beautiful little colony. Yep, we're good. So we do know that we are pushing our luck here significantly. This is a big colony to be keeping in one box this time of year. But when it comes down to it, we have maybe a week of honey flow left. And that week of honey flow is our entire fiscal year. <laughs> so to pay for these, if we can leave them on honey one week longer and double our honey crop, it's well worth it for the few that are going to swarm. 
So yeah, this beautiful colony that came over as four frames, this one four frames, three weeks ago is now 10 plus frames with 25 pounds of honey on it. We're very impressed, very happy with how this is going. So yeah, that's what we're seeing. That's what our colonies, the nukes that we got, are turning into. Um, our biggest complaint about these is they're not quite as gentle as ours are, our, our genetics. You can see they really didn't like getting cracked the way we did back there. They came boiling out. So we are planning to do a requeen here when we do our split. We'll go through and put new queens in all of these just to get our genetics back into them, both for varroa management and also for calmer genetics. Um, and, but and, to, all, and to give a brood break. And to give a brood break to help manage varroa further. So that's our only complaint about this. Our gamble on management strategy here to try to keep them in singles till the end of May to try to get a honey flow seems to be at least partially working out. And we'll see how the rest of the year goes with these, uh, these colonies that we got.